Now toss me the pigskin. Now feed me the rock. Now give me the rock. Cactus, 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 I forgot to mention that on the last show, that uh, I'm just going to name every random show I do through throughout the, you know, any time. It's going to be called Snowplow, because I quit the old Snowplow. I don't really like doing that format on YouTube. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, fuck that old Snowplow show. I'm just going to call this one the Snowplow, and so I don't have to make another show and name another show. I have too many shows that I just quit. So, yeah, welcome to the Snowplow Show. I'm bad at planning because I really need a Pepsi at this point. So I'm going to play a quick song while I run downstairs and get a Pepsi. And then I'll come back and we'll get started. Do some announcements. Maybe a prank. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. horrible I, I apologize for that song i don't know why i even have that so yeah we're broadcasting on phone losers stream and the madhouse radio network thingy now i'm out of breath i had to go up and down the stairs twice because i forgot my soda the first time i'm dumb it's early i've only been up for I don't know, 40 minutes. Here, let's just get to this. There's some crazy tweets by Michelle. I'm going to read them. Michelle is the lady that tweets nonstop, except when she's sleeping. I can tell she's sleeping right now because it's been seven hours since her last tweet. So here's a few tweets by Michelle. I'm going to go through and only find the angry ones, which there are a lot of. She always gets angry in the evenings, it seems like. You dumb old fucking cunts. Know you had your criminal sons run around here and hurt other people? Rip me off money? Fuck you. Go die, old bitch, age 60s or 70s. Your son's an abomination of nature and go bomb cities and blow up shit, you stupid old mother whore. By the way, she's not talking to anyone in any of these tweets that we can figure out. This is pretty much just her stream of consciousness, it seems like. It, it's she, she very rarely talks directly to anyone on Twitter. She just kind of rants at herself. Could the dirty old bitch of men think I am like her drug addict son, my age? Go die yet. I'm going to go sleep soon. His ugly old motherfucker in his late 60s ages still thinks I am Mexican, Asian, or black? And his ugly punker fag my age is girl? Huh? I had to get rid of guys would come here, harass me, and harass other humans around because his little Oregon whore's daddy needs sex or question mark, question mark. That could be in reference to me because she knows I'm from Oregon and she used to talk about me because of our pranks. Not that I ever pranked her. That was all ice goose and stuff. Your ugly old white trash military faggot father or husband or son here you an abomination to human race, or me here, you whore bitch, go. I'm bored with these already. No, you stupid whore, I not a child, boy, or Mexican. You fucking dumbest witch, bitch. Fuck you then, you candle cooing whores. Suck. 
As far as I know, Ice Goose and all the other people have left him, left this lady alone, so this isn't because of us, as far as I know. Fucking cunt like that scared me at age 38 and age 5. Fucking old Mexican government whores sit in some old USA white guy or girl EDU job. Wear that LA Times on how their old Mexican hate doing social worker whores did hate on me in school and got boy killed now. Here's one that's not angry but weird but weird. To run around and dance or fitness or entertain your family, friends is cool, awesome. But do be safe and watch out. I am right now. I be okay. Okay, that's enough of that. If you want to follow Michelle on Twitter, her Twitter name is twitter.com slash m1chille I don't have any pranks planned but I'm getting a lot of calls lately um, I've gotten a few this morning people calling about um, baby items I think Acid Pez left them on, my, uh, on some Craigslist account so maybe we'll take some calls Stupid ass Pez. All right, so on the last show, I asked you guys to donate money. Uh, not to me. I, I don't get any of this money, but to Carlito from Madhouse. Because he makes absolutely nothing off of Madhouse. And I think I just think it'd be really cool if he could break even. Because he does this show every week, and it's fun, and it entertains people. And sometimes people donate money to him for... Um, like Skype credits when he just doesn't have any money and they want him to call international. Uh, I remember they used to donate to uh, prepaid spoof cards so he could prank without getting traced. I don't know if that was before Skype. I think that was a long time ago. But anyway, we're, we're doing like a fun drive. A fund drive. And uh, the science show last night, they did the same thing. They asked people to send money in and someone sent me five bucks. So I need to thank people for that, because at this point we've raised uh, $30 for Carly Doe. Uh, and, okay, like, uh, this guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name, last night, I think this is because of the science show. Uh, his name is Axpa, AKSpa420. He sent five $5 to the Carly Doe Fund. And uh, he's just like, you know, let's let's help Carly go out. And the whole deal is I'm supposed to say something on the air for you guys. But he didn't want me to say anything, I guess. I mean, if you want to write me back, spa 420 and tell me to, like, plug your URL or, or just say something wacky, I can do that. But anyway, thanks, spa 420 for the five bucks. Um... And then there's Captain Rusty actually sent 20 bucks, and he says, Thanks to you guys, Brad and Carlito, for making Madhouse what it is. I owe you guys so much more for all the entertainment and laughs you've brought to me. Your insanity, insanity is fucking contagious. So that's awesome. I mean, he's just, he doesn't want us to do anything. He's just, uh, just sending 20 bucks out of nowhere. He just sent 20 bucks to Carlito, which is going to help Carlito pay for his shoutcast and whatever other expenses web hosting irc if he pays for that so thank you captain rusty you get the most thanks because you sent 20 bucks and let me know if you want me to you know plug anything put a link on the show notes to a website or whatever stupid sloth sent me five dollars and I think I'm going to send it back because he expects me to do a song for five bucks, which is crazy. But yeah, Sloth is like, uh, in exchange 
in exchange for my recent tra transaction of five American dollars, I wish to commission a cover song by you on your next Internet Magical Pranking Hour. I would like you to perform, perform Boots and Boys by Kesha with a beat playing. And um, you must do your best. And upon completion of this cover, I will deposit an additional sum of five American dollars into your PayPal account. Yours in Christ, Ron Newman, which is Sloth's real name. Actually, I don't know, but he wrote Ron Newman on there. So, yeah, I mean, like, really, I don't want to... I mean, come on, I'm not going to sit here and sing. That's crazy. I'll, I'll, I'll say, like, a URL, I'll promote shows, or just say any wacky thing you want. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll say I'm a pretty princess. You know, anything, but I'm not going to sit here and sing songs. I'm not going to sing Kesha. Boots and Boys is like a, a long-running PLA joke from the phone show days, and it seems like it's spilling over into other shows, like The Science Show, which plays every Thursday night, which everyone should listen to because it's hilarious. It was fun last night. They went for like four hours and made lots of customers angry. They, they do kind of the same shtick of talking to customers and pretending they're employees. But yeah, come on. And, and I'll send this back to you, Sloth. I mean, I know you probably want to donate to Carlito. And... Actually, I I'm lying. Here it is. Boots and boys. I think it's time that I mention I got myself an obsession for the smell, for the touch. I know I've got myself a habit, but I gotta have it now. Don't care where, work it out. I try it on. I take it off. So what you got? Something about boots and boys. They bring me so much joy. I gotta say it, I wear them both so pretty as I walk in the city. Boots and boys. Give me boots and boys. Give me boots and boys. Boys, boys. Boss made me do this on my show to give 10 bucks to Carlito. Cowboy boots, cowboy horse. Oh, the joy. We fuck with people on the phone. Pete the Hut and AutoZone. Hold on, I hear a knock. Oh, crap. It's the cops. Boots and boys. They bring me so much joy. I gotta say it, I wear them both so pretty as I walk in the city. Boots and boys. Give me 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 boots and boys. Boys. Oh. Sloth says in the chat room and Madhouse chat, dude, this is definitely worth the money. He put effort into this shit. I really didn't. I mean, I just downloaded an instrumental off of YouTube and, and yeah. But seriously, I'm not going to do music for these $5. I'll say something on the air. I'll do an advertisement. I'll do pretty much anything, but yeah, that, it, it, that was like a good, I don't know. I don't want to call it effort, but it was... A good 40 minutes of my time yesterday. It was an effort, you guys. But anyway, thanks. Thanks for the five bucks, Sloth. And thanks for the ten bucks if you're really going to send an extra five dollars for that. I know I broke the rules. You didn't say I couldn't do a chipmunk voice. But uh, it was also more of a parody than a cover. Well, I don't know. It's kind of half and half. So yay, he seems happy. So that's $35 we've made for Madhouse. And I'm going to shut up about that now, because nobody cares. This isn't like 2600 This isn't off the hook where we just do a fun drive for an hour. I'm going to call someone. But while I'm dialing the number, if you would like to donate to the Carlito Fund, and I feel that we all owe him 
several years of back pay. Uh, send five bucks, send one dollar, send fifty cents, send anything you can, and I will say whatever you want on the air, but I will not perform a song. Let's call Chrissy. Oh, Sloth says he didn't mean to put me on the spot. It was just for fun. I'm I'm not upset, Sloth. I, it was fun to do that. I mean, really, it was. But I just, you know, it's more work than I'm willing to do for giving someone else money. Yay, Sloth says he sent another five bucks. So the goal in all this isn't to make Carlito rich. I mean, fuck that guy. The goal is just to help him break the even. Talk subscriber you have dialed is unavailable at this time. With his hosting Please expenses. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Chrissy. Um, I just saw on Facebook that your your phone is dead. I was really concerned about that. Um, I was going to help you troubleshoot since you're not sure if it's your phone or a bad charger. But I guess you're not here. So I'll talk to you some other time. My name's Brad, by the way. I don't know you. I'm just a stranger from the internet. Um, but yeah, good luck with your phone. Say hi to Sean. Give him hugs and kisses for me. Bye. All right. I'm going to sit here in silence for a minute. Go through this uh, Facebook thing and find someone else to call, I guess. Did I give my email address yet? If you want to PayPal money, it's rbcp at phonelosers.org. And for various reasons, Carlito doesn't want to put his PayPal out there, so just send it to me. Oh, and try and send it as a personal payment, not a business payment, and that way we don't get charged fees by PayPal. But yeah, I'll just um, I'll forward the amount to him. So I claim, you don't know if I really will, maybe I'll just keep it. Spinning on booze and drugs. Spinning on boots and boys. I think it was Sloss that said he's going to start donating at least five bucks himself every every month. Which is nice. I think he should, and I think he should just beg listeners to do it. He, he's providing entertainment. He's part of the, the thing, you know? Hello? Oh, hello. I'm calling for Sherry. This is Sherry. Oh, hi. This is Douglas from Walmart. Um, someone left your name as a reference check. It's uh, Ruth. Okay, yes. R- Ruth, Ruth Huckleberry. Okay. And, um, she just left you as a personal reference. She's trying to get a job here. Oh, okay. All right. And um, I, I, I assume you know her and she's just a, a friend of yours then? Yes, uh-huh. That's correct. Okay. And um, as she, she came in for an interview today and it's... The weirdest okay. thing, um, like on her way out, she uh, shoplifted some merchandise, and um, we we try we sent the police to her home, and she left a fake address, I guess. But do you know where we could get a hold of her to arrest her? No, I don't think so. Oh, you don't know where she lives? No. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do then. I mean, she stole I'm... close to a hundred dollars worth of merchandise. Yeah, have I don't know. You'll have to. Surely she left a cell phone number on her thing. She did, but now she's not picking up because she knows it's us. Do, do, have you known oh, her? Well, I would. Have you known her to steal things in the past? No, I have never. I have never. Uh, she's. Um, I mean, she. You, well, this you, is an odd phone call, so you, I don't think I'm going to answer any more of your questions. You've never thought of her as like having a criminal past or any. Okay. Yeah, she's gone. Oh, Carlito. Carlito's like, when are you going on today? And I'm like, yeah, I've been on for 30 minutes now. Yeah, I think I'm going to play a song and get some things together. Find some reference checks here to do. Maybe I'll do a uh, an apartment call. Because Stacy's been saying she's going to do a show with me, like, forever now. And then she never shows up. I can't get a hold of her. Stupid Stacy. So I'm just going to do one of those without her. Take that, Stacy. So, be right back. Crystalline. Oh. 
Oblivious, is devoid of light till a blue ball enters his sight. It gets bigger, blue, green, and white. Tight latch spaces through the nighttime, crashing matches, making splashes, pulling latches, open hatches, open latches, greens and splashes, making prints in sandy pastures, filtered UV light. The air is sanitized. He takes a couple steps and he sends with the tides. A city past the hill looks nearly reachable. A thousand meter tower, crystalline color, so full. Ah! My daughters like to drink. 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 Hello. Oh, hi. Is this Christine? Yeah, this is Jenny. Oh, hi. I'm calling to do a reference check on a Ray Janae Newell. I'm calling from uh-huh. I'm calling from Walmart. She's trying to get a job here. Uh huh. And uh, do do you know Ray Janae? Yes, she works for me. Oh okay. Um yeah, I guess she's quitting. She said she's gonna quit her other job and uh, work at Walmart. Oh well, yeah. Well, she, you know what? She's um she only works for here. Oh. It's it's one of those things where well she actually works full time oh, but it's does. a part time thing. She told me that she needed you know a better job and and I understand because this the economy is crazy. Oh, yeah, I know yeah. about it. it. Yeah, I guess I mean if she's working full time there, I guess we can't hire her then. Okay. Well, well no, she, if she's well if she's if she's applied for another job, she's going to be leaving here. Oh no no I can't make her leave there. I mean you need the help so. No, oh, no, I, mean, I really don't. <laughs> I, no, yeah, I mean, if she's, if, yeah, I guess if she has a full-time job, then uh, thanks for the check, then well, I guess I'd we won't rather, hire. Well, I'd much rather her her to a different job where she would a- be able to get health insurance, full-time benefits, things like that, because I can't offer that here. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that this is a real eye-opener for us, and yeah, I guess we made a mistake thinking we should hire her, um, and yeah, well, thanks. Thanks anyway. I mean, thanks for the reference check. It's best that we didn't hire her if we didn't, you know, it, now that we know that she has a job already. Well, she just works, you know. No, no, you you, you ruined it. Your friend's not going to ju- get in a job because of you. It's all your fault. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I could tell that you guys are really professional. Have a great day. Hey, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I just got told. I've got these apartment numbers, and I guess the people in the chat room, you know what the apartment numbers are. And should I... I want to call an apartment number, but I don't know. I haven't thought about this. I don't know what to say to the these apartment people. I mean, we've already done everything. What else can we really do? I mean, I guess I could stick with the old, I installed a urinal in my bedroom. This new search engine on open, open Facebook. Hold on. Let me see what this URL is. I I think people would like to know how to do this. Uh, never mind. It's a stupid URL. It's willmoffat.github.com slash Facebook search. I should put that in my show notes, though, so you guys can look these up yourself and make your own calls. Dark Stranger says I should do a giant cat litter box. I punched all the walls. Hold on. Let me do this one. This one's in Arizona. This one is from a guy named Doug who submitted this number to me. This apartment complex number. Dark Stranger's got a good idea. Hello. Hello, is this Lita? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm one of your tenants here. I have a problem. Um, I, I was really angry and, like, punching the walls. Punching Who's angry? Ho- I'm sorry? Who's angry? Me. Me. I'm angry. Oh, it's not. Angry. No, I'm not angry at you or anything. I was just angry in general. You know, just no. this uh, economy. Who are you? What is your name? Oh, my name's Kevin. 
Your name is Kevin? Yes. And which, your tenant of mine? Where? Well, I'm subletting from one of your tenants. Where? Here in one of the apartments. But, in, uh, in where? In, well, quit I inter- have many. Qu- quit interrupting me. I'm trying to tell you what happened. I punched the wall because I was angry. I know, but which was... state are you? Are you in California or are you in Arizona? Where are you? Uh, Laguna Beach on Cliff Drive. Oh, you're in Laguna Beach? Yeah, duh. Okay. And you are in what apartment number? Um... One of the it's one of the two fives. I don't remember which five it is. You're in one of the two fives. Yeah, you know, there's five and five A and. Okay, you're upstairs or downstairs. Oh my gosh, who cares? Listen, I was angry and I was punching the wall. You know, uh-huh. just punching, punching holes in all the walls. And uh-huh. there's a beehive in one of the walls. Uh huh. And Dark Stranger told me to tell you this. Thanks, Dark Stranger, in the chat room. Who told you? Dark Stranger did. But like a bunch of bees came out, and I got stung. Like I'm, I think I might be allergic. But there's okay, bees. But you gotta bees. tell me exactly where you are, honey. It's you. You are in downstairs or upstairs ap- apartment. I'm upstairs. You're upstairs apartment. Uh huh. In uh, what was the girl that you subleased from? What do you mean? What's with her? What What is the name of my tenant that you you said you subletting? Oh, I don't know, because there were several people that. I, I don't, um, they don't even let us put a name on the check. She wouldn't tell me her name. But, um, we just send in money. Are you we, sure you're in my place? I don't think we, I ha- that property is mine. What? You don't own Cliff Drive? What is the number? There are 50 million houses on Cliff Drive. What, which one are you? Two s- Cliff Drive, smartass. Two s- Cliff Drive? Yes. And you are subletting from who? You don't know the name of the girl. She won't tell me her name. I, I think she's involved with drugs or something. I just send a blank money order to her every month. And she feels... And how long you have lived there? Oh, a couple months now. But listen, who's going to fix the bees? There's bees everywhere. I don't know. I don't know even where you are. I don't know. Oh, how because many times do I have to tell you? I'm upstairs, apartment 5. You're upstairs in apartment 5? Yes. You're in the apartment that is... Uh, uh, above the, um, above the, the one with all uh, the bees in it. <laughs> well, I don't know where that. Uh, well, I, if you come here, you know what? You're gonna see bees like hanging out all over the front of the house and the door and stuff. Uh-huh. There was like an infestation okay. of bees when I punched the wall. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They they all just started flying out. Stupid. Okay, let me uh, because we don't allow sublease. The whole thing is wrong. But okay, I'll send someone. No, nothing's wrong. What do you mean the yes. whole thing's wrong? You should not be there. Uh, be there. I you can be, be here. I'm. I we signed. I love sublease. I signed a contract and I send money with every who? month. Well, yeah, but we do not allow sublease. I'm sorry. No, you don't know what That's you're talking perfect. about. Okay, bye. Hey. Let me call her back. At the tone. It's the old school, old school uh, U.S. West voicemail beep. I haven't heard that in a while. At the tone. <laughs> She's sending somebody over. At the tone. Please record your message to 480. Okay, I guess that's over. Uh, someone asked me to... Wait, what did they say? Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, yeah, Dark Stranger. Dark Stranger is the only one with any good ideas. No, I mean, like, you know, your, your other ideas are good. Wait, no, nobody else has left ideas. Except Sloth. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> Naz says, you. I tried flushing my ex-girlfriend's things down the toilet and I clogged the pipes. That's pretty great. All right, well, I can't do that prank about punching the wall without playing in the wall song. So I'm going to play this song while I look up more numbers. And I think I'm about finished. I've got things to do here, and I'm tired, and I'm almost out of Pepsi. So, um... Amway Arena! <laughs> yeah. I'm a rapper, but it doesn't even matter. Because when I see red, I'm a disaster to plaster. I punch the wall faster. Wall punch master, plaster blaster. I'm so pissed, I don't give a fuck though. Yeah. Taking my fist and start beating at the stucco. Mom, stop being a bitch. Take me to the mall or the walls all fall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. I'm so pissed. I can't handle it. Fall up my fist, give the wall knuckle 
sandwiches. Fuck this plaster, I wall punch daily. Uppercut mainly. Hadouken, pooping. Don't judge me, you don't know me. Try and walk a mile in my fucking shoes. Front page news, speaking of shoes. Mom, take me to the mall. No? I'll punch the fucking wall. Destruction. Plaster eruption. I'm gonna give the fucking wall a concussion. This song's a hit, going out to all crews. The number one song for you to punch walls to. So tough, with a real short fuse. Yeah. Mom won't take me to the mall. Huh? I'll punch the wall. The number one wall puncher in my town. My mom or the wall's not gonna boss me around. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. See the songs for Carlito, because you're like, fuh, 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 fuh. Oh, hello. Um, I'm a tenant here. Um, I have kind of a problem. We have, there's some bees in our walls. Bees in your walls? Bee. I, I can barely hear you. Um, you said bees? Bees. Yeah, are you saying bees? It's really hard to hear you. You're really quiet. Should I call back? Maybe it's a bad connection. Um, you could try. Okay. Okay. It's not a bad connection. She's just not talking loud enough. Yeah, I wasn't going to do another one, but uh, I love uh, Bobot's Mobile's idea. Thank you for calling Hickory Village. This is Jennifer. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Oh, I called a minute ago, and you're being quiet. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just like you know. There's um, there's bees in our wall. Okay. Because I was I was putting a hole in the wall. As I was making a glory hole into the apartment next door. You were what? I, I was uh, I drilled a hole and I was uh, widening it out. It's a glory hole um, into the apartment next door, and it turns out there's bees in there. So I've got like a bunch of bees coming out of this glory hole that I made. What's your address? Uh, I'm in apartment uh, three, three C. Which which number? Forty two oh eight. Okay. What's your name? Doug. Doug what? Oh, I I I'm rather not give out my last name because I'm subletting and I don't know if I'm supposed to be. So don't tell anyone there that I'm subletting. Okay. So you're in 42083C? Yeah. Do you know, like, has have there been bee problems with any other apartments? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. Have you had What's other people... Problem? Have you had other people have this problem when they put a glory hole into the apartments? Um, let me put you on hold, okay? Okay. Yes, Dark Stranger, we do need to play the Glory Hole song now. I think it's about time to quit with the show for the day. I don't think she's talking louder, by the way. I just turned my volume up a little bit louder on Skype. On the mixer machine. Thank you for holding. This is Andy. Oh, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, we just have, we have like uh, bees coming through the, the glory hole that I made in the wall. Okay. And uh, I mean, they're just, I, I've... <clears throat> you made you made a hole in our wall? Yeah, a glory hole. I was going to make it go into the apartment next door. Okay. Is this for real? You're being serious with uh, me right now? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, you know we're going to charge you for that hole. Well, no, I don't want to remove the hole. I, I want the hole to remain there. I just, the, you know, the bees, they're like in the wall, I guess. Okay. I definitely want to leave the hole there. Okay, yeah. Um, can I ask your name, sir? Doug. Doug what? Smith. What's your last name, Doug? Smith, yeah. Smith? That's the ticket. Okay. And you've got a bee issue in the apartment now? Yeah, a lot of bees coming through the glory hole. Okay. 
okay, now I already know that the people that are on lease at the apartment that you're giving me are very, very different from the name you've given me. So uh, I'm subletting. Okay, I, I, I don't believe you because I know who these people are. Um, well, I'm not a fucking liar, and I don't appreciate you calling me a liar. Okay. Oh, well, I Just come and fix my goddamn glory hole, okay? Okay. Hurry the fuck we'll up. Send someone over. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> wow, I got slammed. <laughs> he slammed the phone down. Someone else sent money. Uh, I need to, uh... I need to, uh... Here, what's his name? I need to give out his full name and information. Breaking news. This just in. Somebody named Eric. Eric H. has sent five bucks. I'm assuming this is for Carlito, but he didn't leave any kind of a message. So it might be for PLA stickers or something. I don't know. So, uh, Eric, thanks for the money. And uh, tell me... Tell me what kind of crazy, humiliating thing I should say on the air for you. And I'll do it. Just no songs, damn it. Goddamn sloth. So that's like, I, I think I've lost track. I think 35 bucks, maybe 40 for Carlito. Yay. But yeah, uh, thanks for the uh, the idea of Bobot's mobile on the glory hole thing. I think it's time to get out of here. And play the glory hole song as I leave by Rappy McRapperson. Rappy has a song for every possible combination of any prank call anyone could ever make. So if you're if you do a show on Madhouse and you make prank calls, you should look for the corresponding Rappy McRapperson song after you finish your song. Um, thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for sending money. Keep sending tons and tons and tons of money, and I'll send it all to Carly Doe. I swear. That's the ticket. Yeah, I'll send it to Carlito. You believe me? Alright, bye everyone. Let's go. Amway. Oh. Uh, Amway Arena. Get ready to get your dick sucked. By this song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. This is the anthem yeah. for the weirdos. Take your ding dong, stick it in the cheerio. It's the hole in the wall of the bathroom mansion where the buff dudes are dancing, yeah. romancing. Every dick needs a hero. So take your ding dong, stick it in the cheerio. It's a hole in the wall, you can have it all. Ocean tongue splash to the back of the balls. Glory holes, they're all that I see So many glory holes, walls looking like Swiss cheese It's me, sucking your dick So take your ding dong, stick it in the cheerio Breaking news I just realized I forgot something very important And I remember this because uh, this guy, Brandon Krebs, he played the glory hole song on his podcast at from the uh but there's his uh girlfriend i can't even remember her name now but uh she's making these, these little charm things phone loser charms and putting them on um st etsy etsy whatever that's called uh they're like little keychain charms uh they're in the shape of the phone loser logo and then there's another one that looks like the uh, obey the cactus guy it's like this little cactus charm thing, and she sells them on her website, and I will put the link up. Uh, but if you go to, I think, the Phone Losers Facebook, they're on there, the the link to uh, look at them and buy them. I think she's only charging like a dollar or two. You know, they're, they're fairly cheap. Uh, they're just like little clay things, but I don't know. It's kind of awesome. Uh, everyone should go look at that and buy tons of them. And yeah, now that I've begged people to spend money for yet another thing, I'll leave. Okay, bye everyone. Here's the rest of this horrible, horrible song. Ocean waves of the tongue splash heavenly shores.